Hi everyone. So one of the things that comes up when I'm on Zoom calls and webinars is problems with audio. And I'm just going to take a quick look at that now and how you can sort those out. So straight away, one of the things I did when I came into this Zoom call is I didn't accept joining using the audio. And when that happens in the bottom left here, you'll see here it says join audio. So that could very easily be the first problem. So I'm just going to click on that. And I'm going to say join with computer audio. Now I'm just going to mute it here. And you see messages come up on the screen. But you can see down at the bottom, common problem is this microphone symbol here has got a line through it. So it's muted. And it's telling you that if you click on it, it will unmute. And you can see next to my name, it's got the little red symbol of the microphone with a line through it as well. So if you see that with someone else, very simple. You just click on that to unmute. So let's mute that again because there's a quick way that you can unmute. And if you're having to mute and unmute all the time, then all you have to do is hold down the spacebar on the computer. And you'll see here, when I hold it down, you can now see in the center of the screen here, it says temporarily unmuted. When I let go, it mutes again. Just don't let go too quickly and that'll be fine. And you'll find as well, when I tried this on Teams, it works on Teams too. So another problem that people get is they can't hear. Now that could be because the volume is too low on the computer and you can just adjust your volume here on this MacBook Pro. And by the way, all of these things are the same for Windows as well. But you can see my little symbol here showing me that I'm moving the audio up and down. But within Zoom, it's got its own audio settings as well. So they could be overriding it. We're going to take a look at that in just a moment. Now, for some people, they like to plug in some external microphone into here, into the what is sometimes a double of a headphone and microphone jack on the side. And I've got this here. This is a wireless microphone with a connector to the computer, a little jack. And it doesn't matter if it's a wireless or wired microphone, I'm going to plug it in here. Now on the MacBook, MacBook Pro, a lot of the Macs, it uses one socket for both. So immediately there may be no sound coming out because it thinks it's an external headphone so that it cuts the speakers off. I've got this wireless mic here because it's useful for moving around. And I know people who are doing Zoom, things like yoga, karate and things like that, dance are using wireless because it gives them freedom. So how do you resolve this problem of plugging it in and other problems as well? Well, next to where it's got mute or unmute down in the bottom left, and as I said, same on Windows or a Mac, you just click on this arrow here and you've got some options. So you can see it's choosing the external microphone. This is this top section here. And I've got other microphones that I've plugged in. So you can see they're listed here. This one here is for the computer itself. So if I haven't got anything else plugged in, I would just simply click on it. If I go back there, you'll see that's now selected. So you might just want to select the microphone that's best for you. So I have heard of people plugging this in and then they can't hear anything. And that's because it's thinking that the external headphones are plugged in and this is selected. What I really need to do is if that is selected, then change it to the speakers. Now there is somewhere else you can go into the audio settings to do this too. And that is down the bottom here. You can see it's got audio settings. And once again, you find it in the same place on Windows or Mac. You just click here and you go straight to the audio tab. And you can see here it's got test speaker and I can just simply click test speaker and I can hear it. Okay, now if that wasn't selected, such as the external headphones, I click I can't hear anything. So you that's one way to find out which is the right one here before you join a call or even in the call you can do that. Now the thing that I found and I said to you about there's sometimes the computer audio being independent from what's in Zoom. Sometimes I'm just moving this slider down to zero and what's happened is sometimes I go to adjust the volume using the computer and it's like why can't I hear anything? And it's because it's in here in these settings that you need to make this adjustment. So all you've got to do is slide it along. Interestingly, I did notice that if it's down at the bottom here and you click on test speaker and it's set to zero, it did adjust it. Maybe not quite loud enough, but I could move it here. 
Now, what you can see below that is the area for the microphone. And you can see my meter moving along here, so I know it's working. If you didn't see anything here, then perhaps you would think there was a problem. Let me go to the external microphone. And that's fine, you can see it's working fine. So the thing is on here, I can actually press to mute it, and I'm just gonna do that. And you can see now it's not moving, so I know that there'd be a problem and I just need to check the connections and perhaps maybe things have become loose. And there you go, you can see it. Now to test your microphone, you just need to do test mic, say something, and it will then play it back. You don't need to press stop test or anything like that. So let me just do that. So it's recording now, testing, one, two, three, I'm Gary. Let's do that. So it's recording now, testing, one, two, three, I'm Gary. Okay, so there you go. So another problem that you could look out for is just here, it's got automatically adjust microphone volume here. Perhaps if that's unticked, the slider might be down at zero and it's not picking anything up there. So just look out for that. Perhaps you need to slide this across or maybe just choose automatic. When you click on automatic, you've got no control over the slider here. In truth, I have it pretty much set to automatic all the time. Now for background noise, this computer, for example, has a fan in it, this laptop, and the fan can get loud. And I've got suppression on here so that actually it can kind of stop that. This is one of the reasons I use a separate microphone actually, because it can get really loud. It's set to auto, but you can set it to different degrees of suppression if you like. So faint background sound, maybe you've got a fan in the room off in the distance. So perhaps you just want to choose that. You've got medium for this computer fan here, pen taps and things like that. May not get rid of it completely, but it just makes your voice stand out more. And then it's got high here and it's got things like typing. So if you're taking notes or emailing whilst you're on a call and also dog barks. So, you know, nothing wrong with dog barks, but if you're on a call, they might drown out what you're saying. So there are your options there. So that is how you can sort out some audio problems. Go into the audio settings, that's the first place to look. Check that connectors are connected. And if you have plugged in, particularly on a MacBook or a Mac that has only got the headphone and mic jack, just make sure that the sound is then coming out of the speakers here as well. You could use wireless headphones if you're doing something like that. So just one other thing is that I have seen people who've got those headsets that, you know, have got a microphone that come in here. And then I think to myself, it still doesn't sound any better. If you're talking to someone or maybe you've got and you want to see if they're working right, just tap them and see if it's coming up on here. If not, it may not have picked up this microphone. So the other day I was actually talking to someone thinking, they got a headset on and I can barely hear them. As it happens, they didn't have the microphone selected from that headset once they did it was brilliant anyway thanks for watching as you probably know i've got loads of zoom tutorials like this to help you out with cameras virtual backgrounds and many other things like polling and adding panelists as well so do go to my channel to check those out if you do like this please do like share and subscribe thanks for watching and stay safe